and uh, this is basically showing us how the how the drawing is going to be cut. I can also kind of preview it by selecting that button there, so it shows me where it's going to get cut. Um, axis, I'm going to select my absolute axis system again, and I'm going to I'm going to do a little offset just so it's not dead center on the on the uh, drawing. In this case, I'm going to do negative three feet. And everything else is good. Remove generated patterns. And just click OK. And just like before, we should see generated drawing show up in both views since they're linked. And if we go to the drawing view, here's our section drawing. I can just drag and move that into place on my drawing sheet. And if uh, if you wanted to kind of move uh, the views, if you want to move like both these views at the same time, you can just select them in the tree here, holding down Shift. If they're both selected in the tree here, then then you can move them together. So you don't have to keep super doing the superpose option. Okay, so now we have these these drawings generated. Um, I want to create some some grid information. So uh, I want to I want to kind of create a, a column grid from the from the ANS objects we have in the in the model, and um, and also show how to automatically generate uh, elevation markers in the section. So first thing is um, go back to the model view. And we're going to use this, this option under NS views called grid view. And this is going going to allow us to use these ANS objects, um, ANS standard for architecture and structure, um, that we created previously. So in this case we have uh, we have a grid east-west and grid north-south. You may recall that from one of our previous uh, webinars. And that basically created our grid, our column grid system. So I'm going to call this uh, plan grid, and under support, just like before, I'm going to I'm going to say level one, and my axis will be absolute axis, and I want to set the GVS to reference grid. To, in order to generate a, a column, a column grid in plan, and then under, um, I want to highlight the select grids, and select both the grid east-west, and the grid north-south. Uh, once I have those selected in, in the window there, I'm ready to click OK. So, you can see in the 3D view. That it's generated, um, it's generated automatically a, a grid from these, and it's numbered them properly. If I go back to the drawing, I see that plan grid view created in the drawing here. All the numbers for the different one through through nine here and A through I are uh, are set up automatically with the, the proper uh, bubbles. So if I if I want to just overlay it with the plan, I can I can right click, go to view positioning, superpose, and then just pick my plan view, and you'll see that now we have a grid that's lined up with the uh, the beams that we're showing in the reflected ceiling plan. So everything lines up. We have tags here. 
Now I'm going to do the same thing for, um, for my section view. Go back to the model. And if I, uh, if I go back to that, that grid view, I'll call this elevation grid. <clears throat> now the support in this case, since we're, we're talking about the section, will need to be that plane 30 that we use to cut the section. I want to select the absolute axis system for my axis. And then under selected grids, one other thing, I want to set the, well actually it's already set to elevation grid, so we want to make sure that uh, generative view style setting is set to elevation grid. And then under select grids, I want to select the building levels, which contain both my level one and my roof peak um, building planes. So then once we have that selected, just click OK. And you'll see in the 2D view we already have it, we have it labeled and elevations set. Now all we need to do is go and <clears throat> right click on that, that view, go to view positioning, superpose and line that up with the section view. Okay, so um, so you can see it. it, are, it we already have an idea of how the um, 2D information can be aligned with the 3D model. Um, we see that you know it, it grabbed uh, the the level information from our 3D model and automatically placed it in there. We're going to go a little bit further with the annotations and see how we can link um, custom attributes with the model. Uh, for a live link. So first thing I want to do is um, is set uh, the drawing title objects. So um, before I do that, I just want to create a new view. Um, you can it's best when you're dealing with cat drawings to have things in different views because say you you create something in your plan view. When you go to regenerate it, there's a good chance that that um, it's going to go through and recut the, the the model, and so whatever you've placed in there uh, yourself um, will will be erased. So it's always best to create a new view. You just select this tool over on the right, new view, and this way um, you keep what you've done, you've added to the drawing, separate from the the generated views in the drawing. And you see when I when I select that and click anywhere in the in the drawing, there's a new view called in this case it's called front view, but I can go ahead and change that. So I'm going to go up to properties and go to my view tab. I think I'm going to change that to plan annotations. Click OK. So now it should show up as plan annotations in the tree view here. And I'll uh, go ahead and right click and superpose that view with the, the plan view that we have. So it snaps to the same 0, 0 as that plan view. Create a second view, again click, clicking the new view tool and anywhere in the, the drawing. And I'll call, right click up, up in properties here, and I'll call this section annotations. And I want to just, you can see that um, uh, if I want to make that section annotations active, I just need to double click it in the tree. So I can right click 